I don't know. Maybe I should cut that out. I don't know. I, of course, have to show you guys my outfit for today. Oh my gosh, that is so good. I stayed in my butt. The first thing we ordered were the oysters. Look, they've got the cards lined up all nice and ready just for me. You know when the people get those the BBLs? Tuesday or Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday and it's about 9 10 a.m. I woke up at like 8 and I responded to some emails and did some work and then I decided that I'm going to vlog today. I'm putting on my running shoes right now because I am about to go for a run and I just wanted to stop in and say hey and tell you guys what's up for today. So basically I am going to Ikea. Ikea is one of my favorite places to go even when I'm not like shopping for anything just to walk around it's like an activity you know and i am going to shop for the apartment that i'm going to be moving into for school very very soon so that is super exciting i will be heading back to pennsylvania soon to hopefully take in-person classes but i know this delta variant is picking up quickly and i don't know if my school is going to like conform to any new guidelines that pop up or anything like that but i will be living in pennsylvania for the school year regardless because i have signed a lease already and this is going to be my first apartment freshman year i lived in a dorm um sophomore year i was home the whole entire year because of the pandemic and so this is my third year of college i'm going to be a junior at lehigh university and my two majors i'm a double major are cognitive science and journalism i have a ton of classes that i'm taking i did have to fill out an overload request form so i can take more classes than is permitted because of my double major which isn't the most exciting but I like to try and get all my classes knocked out in the fall just because I am a little busier with extracurricular activities in the spring I feel like I'm rambling but I am super excited to go to Ikea and we're gonna do a little apartment shop with me I have bought a decent bit of stuff and I am going to do an apartment haul a lot of the or probably a few different apartment hauls I have a lot of my stuff still in storage so that's a thing the main thing is like i loved my bed when i was in my dorm my freshman year and i think i'm still gonna go with that same theme like i'm not really buying anything unnecessarily but because i'm moving into an apartment i'm gonna have my own bathroom and i'm also going to have my own kitchen in the apartment i definitely need like kitchen essentials and some extra bathroom stuff because my freshman year i was in a communal bathroom so yeah but i am gonna go ahead and just go for a jog i don't think i'm gonna try and like be any prs that i have running i think i'm just gonna jog maybe two miles and then come back shower and chat with you guys and catch you guys up hopefully me and my mom can leave out to go to ikea a little earlier all right you guys little run oh OTD. i'm so sorry if you hear that clicking noise it's my ceiling fan in the back i need to get it like tightened up or something but this is my run ootd i'm wearing this camouflage sports bra from victoria's secret pink i've had this since like i think my senior year of high school it's one of my favorite sports bras i really like the v-neck and i like how it's not like too supportive because <laughs> my boobs aren't that big and sometimes when i run in things that are too high support i just feel a little restricted which some people like but i don't and i'm wearing these pink nike shorts they look like orange right now i don't know what this lighting is i'm wearing my fila running belt and this is the best you guys i'm going to link it down below whatever you do and you want to have your phone with you so you can listen to music and be hands-free and you don't want that big old bulky thing wrapped around your arm this is the best it's super stretchy and it's also adjustable and stretchy at the same time i have an iphone plus 12 pro max some what i have the biggest iphone right now and it fits my phone so i'm sure it'll fit yours too and i have my apple watch on and my beats that i'm gonna use i already have my music queued up and i'm also wearing my favorite running shoes right now which are just these adidas i think they're called the ultra boost i'm not too sure i got them from tj maxx and i absolutely love them i've been wearing wearing them since I got them and a lot this summer. I have my hair in a high pony. I've had these braids in for about three weeks now, three weeks and a couple of days, and they're holding up pretty well. I got highlights in my braids for the first time. I don't know if you guys saw while I was sitting down. And I'm wearing my Nike headband. So yeah, I'm gonna go for my run and let's do it. Hi, stinky winks. You need to get a bath. My COVID test 
came back negative. Yes, my mom was having some pretty bad allergies and she went to go get a COVID test just to make sure and it came back negative. And they told me to take what? They told you to take Zyrtec. And what else? Mucinex. Yeah, so you should start feeling better. Hopefully it'll stop the pulse nasal drip. Yeah, it probably will. But I'm gonna go for a little joggy jog. Have you taken um Precious fat dog with you? Don't call her fat. Oh, you pray. Come on, Bulky. You wanna go with Lexi? She Come. doesn't no, she's gonna slow me down. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna go run. I am back from my run and it went really well. So normally I'll just run two miles straight, but lately I've been trying to work on just building up my stamina um and also like mental toughness when it comes to like a physical workout. So I've been running one mile and then walking like a half a mile to take a break and then running the second mile after I take the break so it's like my body has to kind of get started again and it's just a little more challenging than just running two miles flat but i have not showered yet i have on my bathrobe this is from ulta my mom got it for me i think or i think i might have got it with a free purchase of mine i'm not too sure but this is the bathrobe that i throw on when i'm not clean yet and then i have a bathrobe that i put on when i am clean so i have just a sandwich here it's just salami and provolone we don't eat a lot of processed meat around here but the other day my mom went and picked up some salami and i haven't had processed meat in the longest time and i don't know it's just it's really good and also she picked up this really really good bread so it's salami provolone with some deli mustard and mayo and it's so good i also have my water here and my hydro flask and my hydro flask has a dent in it i took a really long break from vlogging and i don't know if you guys have seen a vlog since i've dented my water bottle but i did get a few new hydro flasks do i need them no but i just really love hydro flask i think i'm gonna make it a thing or i guess it already is a thing to get like a new hydro Hydroflask for every new school year, which isn't necessary, but I really like Hydroflask and I use them so they don't go to waste. Um, I did get a, another color uh, in the same size that I'm going to take up to Pennsylvania with me. But I started this vlog, like I started vlogging just now because I went to my dentist and apparently my wisdom teeth are trying to come in my mouth. Like the back gum has been in so much pain and like every day I wake up it hurts so bad. So my dentist prescribed me uh, an antibiotic and also like a really large dose of an anti-inflammatory and you guys look how big these pills are i don't know if you guys can like see them like see how big they are but they are so big it gets stuck like right here and then i have to drink a bunch of water and it's the absolute worst but i'm gonna take these off camera because i don't want to get demonetized even though it's like I don't know. Maybe I should cut that out. I don't know. I will talk to you guys once I'm out of the shower. I'm out of the shower i did a little bit of makeup i showed you guys everything that i use i've been using some makeup that i got gifted by merit beauty and i have a dedicated video coming up for it it's unsponsored they just gifted it to me and i liked it so much that i wanted to do a dedicated video to tell you guys all about it but i love their products their whole thing is like minimalistic beauty and just enhancing what you already have and not putting too much effort into your makeup so this took me about five minutes to do you guys know i love blush their cream blush is one of my favorite blushes in the universe right now but but I'm showered, I'm dressed, and I'm ready to go and shop at Ikea. I, of course, have to show you guys my outfit for today. I'm wearing just this yellow dress. It's just ruffled. I got it from Nordstrom. I can't exactly remember who it's by, but I got it literally years ago i used to wear this in high school all the time for like award ceremonies and stuff this is just my favorite dress to just throw on when i feel like looking cute my legs got really tan because i was on vacation about a week or two ago so i love that but i'm wearing my white 
sandals that I've been obsessed with. You guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know I hardly ever wear an outfit without these shoes. They're from Princess Polly, but they're by Cupid. And I think they sell them on Lulu's, but other than that, I think they're discontinued everywhere else, but I will try and link them down below, of course. I'm wearing my gold hoop earrings and my padlock necklace from Ana Luisa. And I'm just going to carry the bag that I already have my stuff in that's downstairs. I think I forgot to put on sunscreen today, so I might wear this. And I also have my sunglasses. I don't know. I think I'll just bring both and I can take them off in the car if I'm not feeling it. But this is what I'm wearing. I need to grab my phone and also put on my Apple Watch. Before I leave, I have got to tell you guys that I have been wearing the Cucumber Melon Fragrance Mist. I've also been showering with the body wash and using the body cream from Bath & Body Works. When I was younger, I used to absolutely hate this scent, but I love it. My mom and I packed it on vacation with us to share and we obviously didn't use all of it. So I'm just using the remainder of everything and it's so fun and fresh and summery. I love to put this on specifically during the day or in the morning after I work out. It's just so fun and it's so refreshing. I just can't get enough of it. Like I cannot. I'm in the kitchen and I could use a little bit of caffeine. I've only had caffeine I think maybe five times this summer while I was on vacation every morning I would go to Starbucks and just get an iced black tea with two Splenda and one honey and that was just like my drink to get the day started and it just gave me great energy without making me feel too heavy because it wasn't milky or anything and it was also super refreshing so when we came back home we went to Trader Joe's and I got this organic cold brew black tea concentrate and it is unsweetened I will say that I prefer just brewing my own black tea just because most of these concentrates or just black tea that you buy in the store has citric acid in it which i'm not too fond of but other than that the only ingredients are water organic black tea and citric acid and I just don't like the taste of the citric acid. Most people can't even taste it, but I can. But because this is a concentrate, I have a glass of water here. And I do like my tea pretty strong, so I'm just going to pour in a decent amount into my water here. That's why I left some room here at the top until it's the color that I like. Um, but if you guys don't mind the taste of citric acid, which it doesn't really taste like much, I just like my tea to only taste like tea um, and a little bit of sweetener should I use it. But I would highly recommend this black tea concentrate. It says that this little bottle makes up, like you can make up to a gallon of tea, which is a lot. And I think it's like four bucks which is great and you don't have to go through the process of brewing and estimating how many tea bags you should put with the water that you're brewing it with so something that's quick and easy i'll probably buy a few of these if i don't buy my own like tea maker sort of thing i have this thing from t2 that i love so much i've been thinking about ordering one so i can have it in my apartment in pennsylvania but this is a pretty good and just simple fix especially if you're like on the go like i am today and today since i'm vlogging i want to spice it up and try out this terrainy sugar-free peach syrup that i bought sugar-free zero calories if you care about calories and i feel like terrainy syrups are just the best like they're as good as it gets there's no weird aftertaste and all of their flavors are just so spot on Oh my gosh, it smells literally like a peach. Like it doesn't smell artificial, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna pour some in, I'm super excited. I always like drink my teas just like, just with a little bit of sweetener, maybe honey. So this is, this is different for me. Oh my gosh, that is so good. I'm taking this with me to Pennsylvania. If I don't finish it by the time I go. I literally just put a little bit and it's so good. Oh my gosh love that if anybody is wondering why i'm just standing in my kitchen drinking tea it's just because i'm waiting for my mom to get ready and then we can head out this is amazing oh my gosh i think also because i added the peach syrup it hides the citric acid taste which citric acid just tastes like a little bit of lemon squeeze in something but i'm not the biggest fan of lemon squeeze in drinks but mixed with the peach syrup and it's sugar free we love mm. In the meantime, I'm going to show you guys what I got from Ulta the other day. It's just a few things, but I'm going to show you. Okay, here's the Ulta bag. And I think I literally just got three things. Okay, so the 
first thing I'm gonna show you guys is, and I feel like I bought this before, but I never used it. But I think it's because every time I go in Ulta, I pick it up and I think about buying it. But this time I highly bought it. This is the Makeup Revolution Pout Balm Plumping Lip Gloss with Vitamin E. And it's in this really pretty color called Cookie. And it's like this rosy, but like cinnamony color. I think it's gonna be so pretty with a brown lip liner against my skin. And then another gloss that I got, I love lip gloss, you guys, is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Watermelon Pop Juicy Gloss. And I have not tried this yet, but I honestly might bring it with me in my bag. And then the last and final thing I talked about in my favorites video, because this is something that I literally can't live without. And I tried to use a different under eye cream, but I didn't like it as much as this one. This is the Good Molecules Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. Guys, this is so good, especially if you have a skincare fridge or just if you don't have a skincare fridge, just throw it in your fridge. I very rarely believe in things that like, oh, just get rid of your under eyes and make you look so refreshed and awake. This does that. I promise you, it does that. It literally makes me feel like i just drank one of these when i put this on in the morning that's exactly how it makes me feel so that's the ulta haul just those two things i was going to get the green tea scrub from tree hut i love green tea i love tea i just love tea but i especially love green tea and it smells so good but for my birthday my mom got me two of the tree hut scrubs that i haven't used yet so i was like I don't need to get that right now. And I also was going to try the Tree Hut lip scrub. But I was like, I already have a lip scrub that I like. I really love the Dr. Paw Paw lip scrub. It's like a duo. It's a lip balm and a lip scrub on top. I'm just rambling at this point. But I'll link what I'm talking about down below. All right. My mom should be coming downstairs shortly. And we're going to get in the car and drive in town to Ikea. And you guys are definitely coming with. Okay, vlog. I am on live right now. And I just wanted to pop in say hello 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 and okay i've been drinking my tea and running my mouth but my mom's finally ready so i'm about to go to ikea I cut it off prematurely everybody's saying hi vlog paying their respects i'm just kidding i'm just kidding thank you hi oh hi vloggy vlog hey thanks for saying hi you guys <laughs> okay let's go in and i need to put my mask on What's mine? I still wear my mask, you guys. Well, still. The yeah, Delta course. variant out and about. She gave me a high five. Why would you give me a high five when I'm reaching to for you to pass me I the mask? I thought you were supporting me with that woman that was trying to bully us and fight us. Yeah, you tell them what happened. Well, we will turn him down into the. <laughs> well, <laughs> go ahead. And there was this chick walking down the middle of the um, parking deck in the middle of the road. And you could fall on into each side to park. And she just decided she was just gonna walk out of IKEA down the middle of the road. <laughs> and so I was trying. I thought maybe she was going to a car sooner, but she wasn't. <laughs> she just kept on walking. And then what happened when you pulled into the school? So I just said, you know what? She's walking so slow. I'm just gonna whip my car around this chick and get me a spot. And I whipped it around her. She walks up on us as I'm for her. Uh, uh. You didn't see me walking? I said, excuse me? How can I help you? You didn't see me walking? Um, so I look over at Lex. Lex said she asked you if she seen you didn't see her, her walking. I was like, you know what? Let me just pull right on up one more spot further to get away from her. Okay, we'll see you guys when we're inside. You guys fit check with mom. Uh, I'll go first, even though you guys already know what I'm wearing. Yellow dress from Nordstrom, white bag from Tita and Jane, glasses are Isaac Maserati, Anna Luisa padlock necklace, gold hoop by Mia Fiore, and my white sandals from Princess Polly. Oh, I get to go? Yes, I get to go! Oh, okay, so my dress is from H&M, fun and loose and cool for the summer. My bag is Marc Jacobs, two years ago collection. My shoes are Australian designer, dad sandal, the best ever. Bought them from Australia, Tony Plain. My necklace is Oscar de la Renta. You can get a dupe on Amazon though. What else do I have on? Oh, I took off my sunglasses. They were by three people. And I think that's gonna be it. What is she dancing for? I was for? just giving some background entertainment. Okay, let's go to Ikea. Ready? Let's go.
Okay, you guys, we made it to the kitchen area. So we've walked through what? Like living room, bedroom, closet, stuff, and now we're in the kitchen area. By the way, I'm from Georgia. This is the Ikea in Atlanta. My mom reminded me that not every state has an Ikea. So I've been trying to really just like show you guys around so you guys can get like the Ikea shopping experience, if you will. But right now we're in kitchen stuff and I picked up a few things so far. I am having a meeting with my roommate so we can decide like what we're gonna get for common areas in the apartment. But my mom is obsessed with this little tiny cutting board. I think it's absolutely adorable. Should I get it for like a little personal charcuterie board? Yeah, I think it's so I cute. I think that's so cute. So we're gonna keep shopping. I know I've just been like sort of doing a lot of B-roll and showing you guys around. So I just wanted to break that up by letting you guys know that we are shopping and I picked up some things so far. But a lot of stuff I am going to just order and have it sent to my apartment at school. So I don't have to ship boxes if that makes sense. So that's what's happening right now. And if you guys don't see me getting like a bunch of bulky stuff, stuff that's the reason why because i'm gonna go home and order it online i'm mainly here to just get an idea of what i want and see it in person and everything like that so yeah guys i am in love with this lamp and it's only 49.99 my mom's thinking that it's going to take up a lot of space which it will but like i've just been loving lamps like this i don't know i just i love it a lot this is like the inspo of what i'm going for i love the picture ledge thing i'm definitely doing that in my room and that's the lamp you see mom like you think i can find one that's, that's there that takes up less space yeah it's a lot less space okay i think that one would be better my mom likes this one. It's a little ugly if you ask me, but... This is good. I like it. Mm. You like it, huh? I love this. This is my favorite. Okay, $34.99. We love a deal. I'll take a pic. It's gorgeous. We made it to the end of Ikea. Hey. We're at the checkout line right now. We're in line 14, and I think I'm going to get this little, like, keychain thing. I don't know. I think it's cute. It's only 79 cents, but got a bunch of other stuff i am having a meeting with my roommates tomorrow to decide what we want to do for like the living room and stuff um i saw so much cute stuff here that i was so tempted to buy but obviously like they might not like my style and i don't want to just completely take over so hopefully the meeting tomorrow goes well but other than that i am ready to check out and i got a bunch of pictures of like things like dishware and things like that that i'm going to want to have shipped there so i don't have to pay for shipping from here because that would just be silly so like i was saying earlier mainly was here to get pictures and see exactly what i want when it comes to the heavier stuff like mirrors and i am gonna do this like picture ledge thing so i was able to really see what it would look like and pick out the frames that i want to get and order online once i'm home and settled and everything but i'm super super excited it's gonna be super cute and the inspiration picture that i have I'm hoping that it all comes out really, really well. I also got cute thumbnail pictures, which is also great. So hopefully a lot of you guys watch those because the thumbnail is going to be super cute. Is that everything? I stayed in my budget. I wanted to be under $100 and I was. Woo! Mom was not in her budget though. <laughs> oh, way <laughs> over. I think it's girl. because she um, put all of her stuff in my order. No way. Oh, it's yes way. a bunch of stuff, that's why. We're on this little thing to go down with the cart. I think they call it a travelator, like an escalator, but a travelator. Mm -hmm. Saw a sign that said that, so. Almost to the end. It's a slow ride. You already had to? Yeah. Honey? Oh, of that's course. Good that's why I was saying you gotta hurry. Mm, that's good. Mm-hmm. I only like chocolate with nuts in it, though. Me either, but these are I one. only like chocolate with nuts. Oh, mm -hmm. We are going to go in this restaurant and try it out, and I'm going to bring you guys side. along. So specifically, we're we're the oysters. Yeah, we are good to go. We are going for the well, mainly for the oysters. They also have this wagyu burger. I've always wanted to try wagyu beef for the longest <laughs> time, so I'm super excited to try it for the first time at this place. And it looks really cool in the vlog that my mom was watching. So we're going to try it.
The first thing we ordered were the oysters. I love raw oysters, so we're gonna try them. And they have some sort of like bacon garnish on top. We got a dozen display, and we also ordered pretty much everything else in their happy hour menu. Yeah, it does. I want to get it like perfect. <laughs> oh, this is so not perfect. That's good. Definitely some Tabasco. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Can we have some Tabasco? Listen, I can have a little hot sauce left. Okay, thank you. Wow, 10 out of 10. <laughs> no, listen. My mom said, Oh, I don't think I have my mask. I said, I stay strapped. I keep that thing on me. And she did not like it. <laughs> and her mom said, That does not sound good. <laughs> We're going into Target. Like, they've got the cards lined up all nice and ready just for me. Oh, look at this show. That is cute. Little dollar section action. Oh, look at those. Those are like the things I got from the container store the other year. Oh, I got this mug the other day, guys. You guys will probably see it in a uh, hall, apartment hall soon. But I love that mug so much. Sneak peek. What are we in here for? I'm not telling you. Why not? Because I don't want to tell all my business. Oh, she doesn't want to tell all her business. I guess we'll never know. Never know. I guess we'll never know. Never. You like them, huh? Uh huh. Look at that orange color. I like orange. Okay, since I'm doing, but I'm doing the white duvet. Oh, here it is. So why wouldn't I want to do something like colorful? You like got the, all the other colorful stuff. I guess, well then I don't need a comforter. You know when the people put those BBLs and they have the flat stomachs with those big, perfectly round butts, they look like beach balls. <laughs> I feel like these target mirrors make you look different than you uh -huh. actually look. This one has me looking right. I know, <laughs> I know I'm a thick -ums. I told my mom that they're going to start making target makeup sections look like Sephora. And literally look at this one in town. It literally looks like a Sephora. Okay, can somebody tell me if this CeraVe cleanser, if it's actually good? Can somebody let me know? Because, I mean, for a drugstore cleanser, it's a little pricey. So please, tell me if it's worth it. I know a lot of people like the Daily Moisturizing Lotion, and I think this is the one for like all skin types. I only have a bar too. Okay, so let me know if it's good. Because if it is, I'll try it out. Look at these cute scrunchies. How are they trying to fool you? How are they trying to fool us? Because the prices are $9.99 on some of this stuff. Well, you don't know what it is. Oil control, $9.99. Who wants that? <laughs> Come on, really? Well, one person took one, so. Yep, they, they don't. <laughs> I'm getting ripped tonight. I'm getting ripped tonight. Hey, hey. <laughs> Give her a girl a shout out. You never know, she might be watching. Hey, Sharika, babe. <laughs> I've always wanted to try, I think it's, oh, they have one ginger snap. But I just bought oh, the, that's pretty, that'd be that pretty Ulta here. cookie one, remember? The Ulta cookie lip gloss? I think that be pretty though. It looks really, it looks really similar they? to that. These are my favorite things ever. This is the Elf Rider Dye Lip Balm. I wonder how much they are now. It better not be more than five dollars when i got it, it was five dollars but the mighty mint one they're all sold out for a reason it's so good you guys i highly recommend i'm gonna have all the things that i'm suggesting linked in the description box for you guys to shop but this right here is what i put on after i wash my face every single morning i love it so much it's 3 30 that's 3 35 we should try it we should do a wear this test is 3 35 no I'm, i use coffee well what 3 30 does it tell you the name this is 322. that's 322 so it's right in between these two yikes Sorry, well, you're I bet missing you know. out, girl. Well, I bet you this one, bet you I can wear this one because I'm tan now. No, most off. Most off. Mm -hmm. That looks like you're... There you go. You could treat me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Come on. No, 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 no. That's okay. Oh, look. Here goes more. Here goes more. Oh, yeah. There's 330. 330 toffee. Do you There's see that? 330, yeah. Oh, this is 335. Isn't that your color? I'm 355. Oh, no wonder why. Okay. Okay, this is a Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer. I saw a video on TikTok comparing it to some high-end one and they said it was very very good so, okay. doesn't it have spf2 or no does it natural so. organ hydrants with at with uh, i don't know why I like these hydrating products when i have like semi-oily skin but they just feel like nothing on i think that's why i like it and light coverage all right twinsies let's get them okay can you get them for, get that for mommy you can treat mommy um yeah you can oh but now this right here i don't is my know fave. Don't sh don't let nobody know. Okay, man. well I'm gonna cut the camera. I'm gonna cut the camera. <laughs> Holding my mommy's hand. Yep. Like a cool kid. 
You're a cool kid. Like a cool 20 year old. Oh, you're about to have me steal. I need to go pay for this. Remember to grab your receipt. Thanks. See you again soon. She bought me lunch. I bought her Tintin moisturizer. 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. lunch was so expensive, you guys. I'm kidding. We forgot to review the restaurant, Southern Gentleman. Yeah. Their raw oysters were only a dollar a piece, and they were so good. They had this sort of bacon something garnish, and it was delicious. But it wasn't oysters Rockefeller. It wasn't all that heavy. No, cheese. it was just a little piece, like a, a chunk of bacon on it, and some sort of like jammy, almost like oily something. Like an ole. Like an ole, yes. Ioli. <laughs> We got the pimento cheese fries, which had braised beef on top. I enjoyed getting it that one time. I have it left over because it was so much. But I wouldn't get the pimento cheese fries again. No. I didn't like, I wish it was more pimento cheese. I didn't like the braised beef too much on top. It was just a little too much, a little too yeah, heavy. Yeah, it made the fries soggy. It we made like the fries soggy. Fries. The juice from the meat made the fries a little soggy. Um, but I, it was good enough for me to take it to go. We don't like to waste food around here. <laughs> I probably just wouldn't get it again. Um, and then we got the this pork. It, it was like a pork pate. Yeah, a pork pate. With a dip. And I like stuff like that a lot. It was like so. a pork tartare. A pork tartare. That's yeah. what I would. Like and it was like wrapped in bacon. Around it. And then you just cut into it and put it on the brioche on bread. On some bread. Toasted brioche bread. It, what was it? The Wagyu um, something burger. Like, I really like beef. And I've been wanting to try Wagyu for a long so time. It was a double decker. It was a double decker burger. The cheese on it was really good. Yes, it was and melted. It was caramelized perfectly. onions. And they were caramelized, caramelized onions. Perfection. And just like a couple of pickles. <laughs> and they weren't like too vinegary. Right. They make their homemade pickles inside. Yes. It was just a nice crisp. Like you knew it was a pickle and not a cucumber. But it was very light and crisp. But not, it didn't overpower the meat. Well, overall, if we were to rate our experience, what would we say? Experience. No, let's start with atmosphere. Atmosphere, perfection. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Comfort in the restaurant. Go ahead. Um, I'd say a nine. Okay, for me, I would give the comfort, and I'm a little biased because of my specific situation. I would give the comfort a five only because for some reason, whenever we sit next at a window at a restaurant, I'm always in the direct sun, and so I was sweating so hard. I think at this point, I just know what I wouldn't get next time. You know right. what I'm saying? Like the pimento cheese mm -hmm. fries. Yeah, I wouldn't get that. And I probably wouldn't get that pork tartare pate thing. Right, right. Um, but definitely the burger was good and the oyster is amazing. Right. Well, on the menu, they had some things in the other um, mother-daughter duo that was sitting not too far from us that we could talk to them across the restaurant. They ordered the avocado deviled eggs that was on the menu. Oh yeah, and we asked them how they were and they were like, they were not good, they the, were disgusting. Right. But so, then I don't know if we should really listen to them because... I like they, avocado and I like deviled eggs. So. Well, I don't know if I would like it together, but I mean, what the food that they ordered is not anything that I would go to that fine dining restaurant to order. They ordered fried chicken over top of potatoes. And then I saw an arugula salad. Yeah. Well, you know, we like to base <sighs> our likes and dislikes all of our actual experiences and not listen to other people most of the time. Right. So we're probably going to try the avocado deviled eggs. Next Absolutely. Time. Absolutely. I think we will. Yeah. So that wraps it up for Lexi and Lexi's mom food review, Atlanta food review. Yeah. Um, if you guys live in Atlanta or anywhere and you guys want us to review a restaurant, <laughs> Just let us know. Let us know. Leave a We're comment foodies. down below. We're foodies and we'll go and try it out, especially if it's in Atlanta, and let you know what we think personally. Or even if it's not. We're travelers. We're travelers. We're traveling foodies. Oh, but the pandemic has got us. Oh. Uh, it looks like my camera's about to die, so I'm going to go. I'll talk to you guys once I'm home. Okay, you guys, I am back home and I took my makeup off and got all comfy. Don't mind the laundry. Do not mind the laundry. I'm going to try and fold that tonight, but I am back home and it feels so good. I'm wearing this white oversized tee from Victoria's Secret Pink. I talked about it in my summer favorites video where I talked about my 21 favorites for the summer of 2021. And um, I got this in a tie dye, but I also have it in just this off white. I love sleeping in these or just throwing these to just run an errand or two. Super, super comfy. And I don't know. I just love putting on these shirts once I'm home after 
after a long day i will have every single thing possible that i can link that i showed you guys or talked about in this vlog linked in the description box below if you guys are interested in buying the product anyway and plan on buying the product pretty please use the link in the description box because they are affiliate links and when you make a purchase using that link i do get a very small commission from your purchase at no additional cost to you for informing your purchase so just keep that in mind whenever you guys see me linking stuff and you're gonna buy it anyway pretty please use my link because that helps me out a lot i definitely did try to film a or refilm a video but i think i might just go with the original footage that i have and like l at least look through it tonight to edit it i'm a little bit of a perfectionist especially when it comes to my sit down videos because i want them to look as aesthetic as possible so i was gonna try and refilm it and just make it look a little bit better but i couldn't make that happen because it's dark outside and the lighting was just off and it wasn't as perfect as i wanted it to be i stopped filming midway through and just decided to take off all my makeup get unready and get comfy and here i am um i did take off all my makeup and i did my skincare routine and the skin i must say is looking pretty good today and also i am wearing these glasses i don't think you guys have seen me wear these glasses before but they are from jen's eyewear i will try and find them and link them for you they are prescription glasses as well but i'm pretty sure you can get them without prescription if that's your thing too but i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it it's been so long since i last vlogged and vlogging is just something that's super therapeutic for me and it wasn't fun for me for a really long time just because because of personal stuff that I had going on and I had so much fun filming this vlog and I really hope that you guys could tell um, I know that I did go to Ikea today and I did buy a bunch of stuff but I'm not going to do a haul in this video I'm going to do probably a few different videos just dedicated to college apartment hauls um, because those are some of my most viewed videos like my college dorm hauls are a few of my most viewed videos on my channel so pretty please get excited for that if you haven't already make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel also turn on post notifications and i think there's a second step where you have to turn on all post notifications in order to get my notifs so just keep that in mind also be sure to follow me on instagram i posted quite a bit on my instagram story today so please make sure to check that out and all of my other socials are linked down below in the description box the description box is where you can just find a bunch of goodies but i am super excited to be preparing to move into my first apartment and i was just so happy that i could bring you guys along on a little bit of my excitement today in ikea and in target and just hang out with me and my mom and trying that new restaurant so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog there are many many more to come and college vlogs will return as soon as school and classes start back up so keep that in mind and get excited for that i am going to go ahead and sign off before i go i want to remind you guys to spread kindness and always remember that the less you wander the more you wonder i love you guys so so much and i will see you in my next video bye guys